Okay, so so far we've looked at the Garmin Striker product range, which is the fish finder and position only. We then went on to look at the Garmin Echo Map, which is fish finder, sonar and cartography. We're now going to take a look at Garmin's premium range, which is the GPS map, which includes fish finder, sonar, cartography and the ability to link to other network products. Okay, so we're now looking at the Garmin GPS map 1022. Uh, Nick, can you take me through some of the, uh, the functions of it? Yeah, sure. So um, the 1022 is part of the GPS map range. So this product is um, our higher end feature. As you can see, uh, sorry, it has higher end features. As you can see here, the homepage is laid out differently. Um, it's operated by um, keys. So this one um, is, you know, perfect for the likes of the, the, the fishermen, you know, who don't necessarily want to have a, a touch screen. Um, or even, you know, high speed, high speed boats where, you know, you want to have keys over a touch screen. But you can see this rotor allows you to pan around and view the different options. Uh, we can see on the home page here, we have all the different options laid out into their own section. So if we want to have our charts, we can go to charts. If we have sonar, we can go there. We've got all our sonar options. Uh, we've also got radar. Now, if you don't have the likes of radar connected, it won't show up. Um, the other option is you can put, let's say we want to have, you know, we use charts only really most of the time. So we can press and hold that and it goes into our favorites page. So we now go to favorites. We can see it's listed in there. If we want to remove one of them, we just press and hold and it says remove from favorites and we say yes. So we can just put whatever we want to have in this menu so it makes it easy to use. The 1022 um, has got GPS built in. It's also got sonar built in as well. So we have the different types of sonar, traditional, clear view, side view, and we've got all of the panoptic, panoptics features as well. As we mentioned earlier, um, the GPS map series allows you to network multiple screens. So if you've got a bigger boat where you have second stations and so on, you can plug these together. They will share radar, sonar, um, charts across the network. Um, you can also connect in enemy A2000 to it as well so you can input things like wind speed, um, you know different types of transducers, uh, lots of different information. Okay so we're now looking at this large 12 inch uh, screen which is the Garmin GPS map 1222. Um, Nick can you just uh, take me through some of the functions? Yeah, sure. Uh, the product is in the same range as the 1022 we just looked at. So the architecture of the screen, the layout, the user interface is the same. The, the biggest difference with this, yeah, it's 12 inch, so it's larger, but also it's touch screen. Um, so it, 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 you just interface with, with it a different way. So um, if we want to um, input our favorites, so if we go to our radar page, same as we did before, this time we just press and hold and we can then input that into our favorites page. On the nav chart, for example, we have, you know, pinch the zoom. If we want to change any of the data fields down the side, we just press and hold and we can change that. And also when you're creating routes, you know, you just drag around the screen. We can click here, we can go route two, that marks your end point, And then you can work your way back, adding turns as you want. So you can see that that's the benefit of the touch screen. Something we'll look at on this product as well is this page. So th this this product, along with all the other GPS maps, give you the ability to connect into lots of different systems. So yes, we talked about the wind page. Um, we do a range of um, wind systems, so you can have a wireless uh, wind sensor that connects directly into this product without having to run any wires. Um, we have a wired version of that as well, and a series of instruments. So this shows you, you know, your wind directions, your heading is on here. Again, if you want to change any of these data fields, you just press and hold, and then you can replace it with anything you want. So it's really user-friendly and easy to change the information. If we go back to this home page again, we can see here, we talked about engine interfacing before. Well, this has a, a custom Yamaha gauge on there. So if you have got Yamaha outboards, you can connect directly into this and it will display all of your engine gauges without the need for all your other gauges on the screen. Sorry, on your boat. We can also have, um, this is media, but we can interface with your fusion stereo. So it allows you to change your music. Uh, you can have up to four different zones of uh, control here as well. 
um, and you can, um, you know, change your music in each of those zones. And, if you and want that's to. with the addition of the the relevant fusion head unit or server or. Or, or whatever, yeah. That's right, yeah. So it's just and a control mechanism for that. Yeah, for sure, yeah. So uh, when it comes to fusion stuff, that's totally separate, but you can interface with it. Yeah. Okay, if we have a look at uh, some of the other options, we've got um, our video screen. So this is just simulating at the moment, but we can add in um, different types of cameras. We can have a uh, an IP camera in here um, that will work at night as well as in the day. We can also even connect in our uh, verb action camera. Um, both the the fixed image one, but also the 360. So you connect to this wirelessly, you can pan around the 360 degree image, um, which is a pretty cool feature. Okay, so there's no need to even run a cable through the boat? No, no, it's uh, yeah, it's totally wireless. So um, the other thing you can see on here is uh, we've got an autopilot option. So, you know, this allows you to control your autopilot from the screen. Uh, a Garmin autopilot? Uh, well, yes, a Garmin yeah. autopilot. And you can also control it from your, your Quadrix watch as well, okay. if you've got um, you know, Garmin Autopilot on there too. So, you know, that's that's really the overview. It's very similar to 1022, except it's got touchscreen. Um, you can add uh, buttons to it with um, a brand new remote control, which is called a Grid 20. So it looks very similar to the the push button operation on the on the 1022, but it can connect into it wirelessly or by NMEA 2000. Yeah. In that situation, could you actually run a a second video repeater and then put the control unit next to that? You could do, but it would still be controlling the original screen. Yeah. So you could do. But the other thing, actually, um, we should highlight here is Active Captain. On the GPS maps, and this is where they differ from the Echo maps, is that you can mirror the screen onto a tablet, so an iPad or a smartphone, whatever it is. You can. So say you had this at your helm and you wanted to do some chart work at a chart table, you could fire up the chart on your iPad and control it and view it, do whatever you want, so it just replicates the image. Okay, Nick, well, it's an absolutely fantastic piece of kit. Thanks for your time and taking me through it. Thank you.